our cows also are grazing animals that is their function see when you when a person decides to keep a cow for what purpose are you keeping the cow if it is for the purpose of getting milk or maybe to get the dung and urine for uh, dung based farming or it can be for it to make any uh, value added products like you know medicinal products that can be used for that or it can be for the bulls can be used for the drought purpose whichever thing it they are all the utility or the other benefits that we get by keeping the cow for this these things to happen they have to do their function their prescribed duty and that prescribed duty is grazing and only when the cow grazes it's a self feeder it's a herd animal and it's a self feeder only when they feed on their own this is very important because only when they feed on their own will keeping cows be profitable or it is you know, then only it makes sense to say that it is a cow based economy cow based economy people have misunderstood uh, that's my observation that means people have misunderstood it as you know how efficiently you may sell the produce from the cow maybe milk maybe dung maybe urine or the skin or the flesh you know, some something people have identified and people think that is cow based farming economy cow based economy no cow based economy is how efficiently you manage the pasture lands because that is where the expenses i mean keeping a cow if you are trying to feed the cow by cutting grass and feeding or purchasing from somewhere how can it be economical it you all who will be economical only to the person who is providing you the cattle feed or the grass it will never be economical for the person who is keeping the cow for keeping the cow the person if it has to be economical he should be managing the pasture lands properly how efficiently you manage the pasture lands so what is the efficiency what, what do you mean by saying how efficiently you manage the pasture lands it simply means just imagine the cows have grazed today in a particular place so it may be containing a certain amount of nutrients and it is getting it is meeting the requirements of the cow tomorrow when it goes to the when it goes to graze the grass that it eats should be higher in quality compared to the grass that it ate last day last day and when uh, next year also every day the quality of grass should keep increasing in quality otherwise the condition of the cow will go down no it's, it's it is natural no so can you say that the the grass or the paddy straw or the jowar straw that you have purchased this year was better in quality than the last time just analyze and see it is going down that is why the cow's condition also is going down and it is becoming not at all economical it's becoming a liability you have to depend on donations you have to depend on others to keep the cows alive so at least in good shape no they have to be fed no so th- this has to be considered that they the grazing land should keep improving in quality day by day so uh, in the next video i will tell you what we have to do to keep the quality of grass or the quality of any produce that is coming from a particular land increasing in quality